If this girl's presentation skills are half as big as her appetite, all sorts of records could be broken. If she's victorious tonight, she's promised the first round of Jaeger bombs is on her already. to make a little uh, disclaimer here and clarify something if I could. Frank earlier sent an email saying that uh, some of the contestants were in the bathroom vomiting due to nerves because they were so scared about this competition. I was vomiting because I ate too much at lunch, alright? Like, seriously. <laughs> what a problem. Don't like, publicise it to the general population. Anyway, and let's go right into something. This is probably the most important thing you guys will hear tonight because it's all about how an engine works. Now, engines. Here's an interesting topic. The purpose of engines, <laughs> what they actually do is convert fuel into motion. But what kind of motion? That's what we're talking about. So most common is internal combustion. That's generally something you want to try and avoid because that's generally not good for the rest of your motion that you're going with, if you know what I mean. So uh, if we move right along to the next slide. Now, gasoline. Gasoline is something that uh, is commonly put into an engine. Now, look, I don't profess to be any kind of great uh, you know, knowledge about gasoline, engines, cars. I don't actually own one because I'm usually too drunk to be able to drive. <laughs> so, now, now we've got that. But look, you know, I'm giving it a shot. I'm giving it a shot. Now, yeah, it's true. Everybody knows it's true, so I'm not going to deny it. Now, we've got a four-stroke. Now, stroke is the, uh, the word here that we're going to look now. And also, I'm not trying to be, um, not trying to be presumptuous here, but if we just look at the four diagrams across the bottom, we can kind of see this shape that they're resembling. Now, there's, and there's a lot of internal parts. Um, now, there's a lot of things going on here. It's all about timing. It's all about uh, gasoline, as I said, to get the juices in there. So, uh, this is uh, what I'm talking about, aka the Otto cycle. Now, Otto was uh, one of my first, uh, I won't say clients, but uh, maybe, uh, maybe something along the lines of, uh, you know, Otto's one of my disciples, let's say. So uh, me and Otto are quite tight, and uh, we figured out a lot of this together. Uh, that's you. Now, Diesel. Wow, there's a totally different story. Uh, now, look, we've only got one of these big shapes here. Uh, now, we've got injection. Injection, that's, you know, that's quite rapid, and, uh, you know, it's a bit... We don't really like to talk about that. So, um, but then, then again, there's exhaust, which is also something that you want to avoid um, in that kind of situation because it could scare off uh, other cars, other engines. Exhaust is, is not really something that you're going for. Um, pistons. Pistons. Who doesn't love a good piston? <laughs> um, and uh, now, we all know what air intake leads to, and we're not really going to go there. So. Next slide, thanks. Now, Wankel. <laughs> yeah. Who has heard of Wankel? Like, thank you. Okay, page. Now, look, you're not going to admit it, but you've all heard of Wankel. So, uh, look, enough said. It's, um, it's actually not that complicated in real life. But, um, but Wankel, Wankel here seemed to, uh, he wanted to, to, you know, put some colours in there, some diagrams. I don't think that any of the males in the audience, indeed any of the females, really need a breakdown of Wankel. So I'll move right along to the next slide. Now, now look. Now, I don't want to be dirty here. But, so it's all about arrangement. The arrangement of the cylinders. And um, when you've got a couple of cars, and you've got a couple of cylinders, you know, you never know what could happen. Um, this is generally the, uh, the kind of formation that will occur with cylinders. Um, there's, there's a few different styles, different cylinders, different styles. You know, what are you going to do? Just uh, pick which one suits you. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and uh, now look, of course, there's always problems. She's, she's clearly... She's clearly not having a problem. She's, uh, she's probably doing it right. But, um, <laughs> um, now, the, the fuel mix, it's 
different for different people, you know. I mean, I'm drinking a beer. Other people might like to go out and, you know, a bit of nose candy, um, whatever really gets going. <laughs> There's all different kinds of fuel, you know. Uh, compression. Compression is uh, fairly important in any kind of uh, getting any kind of engine going. And then a spark. There's got to be a spark. And um, whether, you know, it's six o'clock at a guana bar or like, you know, <laughs> you know that's in the morning. Um, or it might be, look, it might be over a meeting at work or it could be down in the cafe, you know, maybe feel that bit of spark. So it just depends. Now, it could happen anywhere. It could take you, you know, by surprise. So just look out for the spark. Now, it's, you look, you've got it hot, you've got it heavy, you've got to cool it down. Right? So this is where the radiator comes in to just cool it down. Now, Pressure, because we all know pressure likes to build. Pressure has a tendency to build up and it's just going to explode. So you just need to like, pull that down with a fan and a pump. I don't need to talk about pumping anymore, but that's, you know, we've got a water pump in here. And uh, we've got an upper hose and a lower hose, just in case. <laughs> Turbocharger and a supercharger. They sound a bit scary, but really, when you get to know them, they're not. Um, now, you find most of these models in any of the shops up on um, up in King's Cross. Uh, I think Porky's have a late night. It's open, so we've got the turbocharger, the supercharger, and again, exhaust. We've talked about emissions and exhaust. That's what you want to try and be avoiding. So let's not really go there. But, um, but yeah, once again, look. I mean, if you game. Turbocharge, supercharge, do it. It's up to you. you know, it's your body. It's your body. It's your car. Now, along with cars, is inevitably you can't really avoid the babes. Um, you know, pit, pit babes. Doesn't really sound appealing, but the pit here refers actually to the uh, side of the racetrack rather than the underarm. And um, umbrella babes. I don't really know umbrella. Um, make things go up, I guess. So, <laughs> so um, you know, the history behind the umbrella babes is not really clear. I mean, well, I mean it is clear, it's pretty clear. Um, but, and their purpose will be on it. Look, I'm not, I'm sorry, this is a family show. I think we should just go on this and this is. And uh, one more thing, uh, I apparently don't get a picture, but do not uh, drink and drive, because that is a very dangerous combination. And, you don't want to be embarrassed when the uh, supercharged turbocharge releases an emission and then it's just all over for me. So, thank you very much.